You won't believe how bad five car engines really are. Are you ready for some shocking car stories? Today, we're talking about You Won't Believe How Bad These Five Car Engines Really Are. You might think your engine is tough, but wait until you hear about these epic fails. From buzz blown head, gaskets that ruin your day to oil leaks that turn your driveway into a disaster zone, these engines are infamous for all the wrong reasons. Why would anyone buy a car with such a bad reputation? Stick around as we reveal the crazy truth behind these engines and what makes them so notorious. 1. Cadillac V864 Engine The Cadillac Fifth's 864 Engine introduced in 1981, is often remembered as one of the most notorious failures in automotive engineering. Cadillac's ambition was to create a fuel-efficient, performance-oriented engine by allowing the motor to deactivate cylinders. The concept was simple. The engine could run on eight, six, or four cylinders, depending on the power demands at any given time. This system named the Modulated Displacement System, MDS, was Cadillac's attempt to respond to increasing fuel economy regulations during the 1980s. However, the execution was far from ideal. The engine was controlled by an early version of engine management software, which was simply too primitive to handle the complexities of deactivating cylinders smoothly. As a result, the transition between cylinder modes was jerky and unpredictable, often causing the car to stall or deliver power inconsistently. Drivers reported severe hesitations, rough idling, and overall poor driving experiences. These issues, compounded by the lack of refinement in the electronics, led to customer frustration and numerous warranty claims. Mechanically, the V864 engine wasn't inherently flawed, in fact, it was based on Cadillac's reliable 368 cubic inch V8. But the electronic controls were a weak link, and Cadillac's ambitious system far outpaced the technology of the time. Many owners ended up disabling the cylinder deactivation system entirely to restore drivability. In the end, the Cadillac V864 lasted only one year before being discontinued and it remains a symbol of how innovative ideas can backfire if not properly executed. Though modern cylinder deactivation systems are common today, the V864 serves as a reminder of the limitations of early automotive technology. Cadillac's reputation took a hit during this period, though they would later recover with more refined luxury offerings. Two Chrysler 2.2 liter turbo, two engines, the Chrysler 2.2 liter turbo 2 engine introduced in the mid 1880s was Chrysler's attempt to offer turbocharged performance in a variety of their front wheel drive cars, such as the Dodge Daytona and the Chrysler LeBaron. It was an upgrade over the earlier 2.2 liter turbo Y engine, featuring several enhancements meant to boost performance and reliability. However, despite its potential on paper, the Turbo 2 suffered from numerous issues that left many owners frustrated. The 2.2L Turbo 2 featured a Garrett turbocharger and an intercooler, which was supposed to help increase power output and efficiency by cooling the air before it entered the engine. The engine was rated at around 175 horsepower, which was impressive for its time in a compact package. But it was this turbocharging system, along with poor build quality, that led to many of the engine's problems. One of the key issues with the 2.2 L Turbo 2 was heat management. Turbocharged engines run hotter than naturally aspirated engines, and Chrysler's Turbo 2 was notorious for overheating and damaging critical components. The turbo itself was prone to failure due to excessive heat, leading to costly repairs. Additionally, poor engine cooling design often resulted in head gasket failures, which were common in the 2.2-litre turbo engines. This led to oil and coolant mixing, causing significant engine damage if left unchecked. Another problem was the engine's turbo lag. 
While turbocharging can boost power, the lag between pressing the accelerator and the turbo kicking in was noticeable and frustrating for drivers. The turbo surge was often unpredictable, making the car difficult to drive smoothly. In addition to mechanical issues, the Turbo 2 suffered from poor reliability in general. Drivers reported frequent failures of the turbocharger, head gaskets, and other key components. Despite its potential, the Chrysler 2.2L Turbo 2 engine became notorious for its lack of durability, and it is often cited as an example of turbocharged technology being introduced before it was fully refined. 3. Oldsmobile Diesel V8 5.7 liters. The Oldsmobile Diesel V8, also known as the GM, 5.7 liter LF9. Diesel was General Motors' ambitious but ultimately disastrous attempt to enter the diesel market during the late 1970s and early 1980s. Introduced in 1978, this engine was marketed as a fuel-efficient alternative to gasoline engines during a time of rising fuel prices and tightening fuel economy standards. It was fitted into several GM models, including Oldsmobile, Cadillac, and Buick vehicles, but it soon became one of the most infamous engines in automotive history due to widespread mechanical failures and poor performance. One of the primary reasons for the engine's failure was GM's decision to modify an existing gasoline engine, the Oldsmobile 350 V8, into a diesel rather than designing a new engine from the ground up. Diesel engines require much stronger internal components to handle the higher compression ratios and stresses involved in diesel combustion. But GM made cost-saving compromises that led to serious durability issues. The block, head bolts, and head gaskets, among other components, were not sufficiently reinforced, which led to a variety of catastrophic problems. One of the most common issues was head gasket failure often caused by the engine's inability to withstand the high compression. These failures would lead to coolant leaks and ultimately engine overheating or failure. In addition, the weak head bolts would frequently stretch or break, compounding the gasket issues. The fuel injection system was also prone to failure and the lack of proper filtration led to clogged injectors, resulting in poor fuel delivery and rough engine performance. The Oldsmobile Diesel V8 also suffered from extremely poor reliability. Many vehicles equipped with this engine experienced major failures within 50,000 miles, leading to costly repairs or complete engine replacements. Owners found themselves dealing with blown head gaskets, cracked blocks, and injector pump failures. The engine's performance was lackluster delivering sluggish acceleration and producing significant noise and vibration compared to gasoline engines. Public outcry over the engine's frequent breakdowns and poor reliability led to a rapid decline in diesel engine sales for GM. By 1985, GM had abandoned its diesel engine program for passenger cars. The Oldsmobile diesel V8 left a lasting scar on GM's reputation damaging consumer confidence in diesel technology for years to come and contributing to a broader skepticism about diesel engines in the U.S. market. 4. Subaru EJ25 Engine The Subaru EJ25 engine, a 2.5-liter flat four or boxer engine, was introduced in the late 1990s as an evolution of the EJ20 engine family. It quickly gained popularity due to its use in a variety of Subaru models, including the Outback, Legacy, and Forester. While praised for its low center of gravity and smooth performance, the EJ25 also became infamous for several significant issues that marred its reputation. One of the most prominent problems with the EJ25 engine is its susceptibility to head gasket failure. The engine's design, combined with certain manufacturing inconsistencies, made it prone to overheating, particularly in earlier models. Many owners reported coolant leaks due to the failure of the head gasket, often leading to more severe issues such as mixing oil and coolant. 
This not only reduced engine performance, but also posed a risk of complete engine failure if not addressed promptly. Another issue tied to the EJ-25 was its use of a timing belt, which required regular maintenance and replacement. If the timing belt failed, it could cause catastrophic damage to the engine's internals, especially since the EJ-25 is an interference engine. This meant that if the belt broke, the pistons could collide with open valves, resulting in bent valves or even more extensive damage. This potential for significant damage necessitated careful attention to maintenance schedules, adding to the overall ownership costs. Additionally, the EJ-25 engine faced issues with oil consumption. Many drivers reported excessive oil usage, which could lead to engine wear and premature failure if not monitored closely. This was particularly problematic for owners who neglected to check oil levels regularly, as it could result in running the engine with insufficient lubrication, further exacerbating wear and tear. Despite these issues, the EJ-25 was generally well regarded for its performance characteristics. The engine produced respectable power and torque, contributing to Subaru's reputation for capable all-wheel drive vehicles. Its unique boxer configuration provided a lower center of gravity, enhancing vehicle stability and handling, which is a hallmark of Subaru's design philosophy. 5. Ford 4.2 Liter SX Feig 6 engine. The Ford 4.2 Liter SX Feig 6 engine, introduced in the early 1980s, was designed to serve as a versatile power plant for a variety of Ford vehicles, including trucks, vans, and SUVs. Based on the earlier 3.8 liter V6 engine, the 4.2 liter variant was aimed at delivering a balance of power and fuel efficiency making it a popular choice for entry-level models during its production run. However, despite its intended utility, the SX V6 gained notoriety for several reliability issues that marred its reputation. One of the most significant problems with the Ford 4.2-liter SX V6 was its propensity for head gasket failure. Similar to other engines of its era, the SX V6 was not designed to withstand prolonged use at high temperatures. Overheating could lead to the failure of the head gasket, resulting in oil and coolant mixing, which would compromise engine integrity. This issue was exacerbated in vehicles that frequently towed or carried heavy loads, as the added strain could push the engine beyond its limits. Additionally, the 4.2-liter SX-56 was known for oil leaks. Many owners reported leaking oil from various points in the engine, including the valve covers and the oil pan. These leaks not only resulted in messy engine compartments, but also raised concerns about the engine's longevity and reliability. If left unaddressed, oil leaks could lead to low oil levels and increased wear on engine components. Another notable concern was the engine's fuel delivery system. The Essex F6 often suffered from fuel injector problems, leading to uneven fuel distribution among cylinders. This could result in rough idling, decreased fuel efficiency, and poor overall performance. Drivers reported a lack of power, especially during acceleration, which detracted from the driving experience. Despite these issues, the Ford 4.2-liter SX Fiv 6 did have some redeeming qualities. It produced decent horsepower for its size, making it suitable for light-duty applications. Its simple design and relatively easy access to components allowed for straightforward maintenance, which appealed to budget-conscious owners and DIY mechanics. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you enjoyed uncovering these wild engine stories, Give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Have you ever experienced any of these issues? And don't forget to subscribe for more amazing automotive content. Want to learn about other cars that are just as surprising? Click the link to check out our next video, where we'll dive into even more incredible tales from the world of engines. Your next favorite car story is just a click away. See you there.